not enough for them to die. Oh shit. It's the greatest hits. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. Oh, man. She was right. Oh, he know. More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further Miles is dead, players. However, really Miles is alive. Someone contact. I would ask that you see it through. I'm too strong to deal with. This is Gavin Banks. Oh no. I am super impressed, Upskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. I knew that. Also, Miles. Oh, Desmond Miles has a uh, family still alive. That's pretty fucking fortunate. Why won't you let me in that door? Who are you hiding? Okay. Uh, Helix Research. Let's do that. Those two guys that were fighting episodes ago. Oh, hi. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. What? You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. I don't have any outstanding business here. There's nothing to do here. whole part of the of the gameplay is just boring and I mean the story stuff is kind of cool all right Shay what do you got the royal palace at Versailles Louis the 16th and Marie Antoinette oh, in such decadence Good luck, Numskull. Well, oh, Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Shay. You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the king's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. Remain undetected. There's a lot of big poofy dresses. That's him. Charles Dorian. Picture of Dorian Gray.
nice little music to go with the end. Oh man, do I have to play like a full... Okay. Oh hi, don't mind me. What a hat. Are they kissing one another? Ew. Gross. I'm, I'm truly trying not to get detected there. Oh shit. Well, that guy's super dead. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm honored. Holy shit. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? It's Arno and Elise from fucking Assassin's Creed Unity. That's cool. So if I just kill them now, <laughs> that game never happens. Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. What's happening? Aunt yes, you're dead now. So quickly. You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old. Shit, is this Arno's dad? Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Holy fuck. Uphold the principles of our own. Holy fuck. And all that for which we stand, never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. Wow. What a great way. Like, especially if you played this game right before playing Assassin's Creed Unity. Like, that's, the end of this game is literally the very beginning of the next one. That's such a cool thing that they've never really connected so tangibly before in the past. How great is that? I mean, I can't say I loved this game really at all. There's a lot of like buggy shit. 
sea battles were pointless and all the ship stuff was literally just a form of travel and you really had no need to go from one place to another like on your ship you didn't really have to go collect things or unlock things oh it's shit it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today gotta hand it to you numbskull you proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey the data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. I hope they reveal now. who I am. Got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Uh oh. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Your box is shaking. Refuse. What? I don't get to actually make the choice? Oh, man. I can't remember what the story in present time is it, during Assassin's Creed Unity. I played most of the way through that game. Um, I'm pretty sure that they do have tangible connections to present time, but I don't know where that leads off. to do after this now. What else do I got on my list? Uh, Dark Souls remaster, that's coming out soon. Could do another Telltale game. I'm gonna have to start Red Dead Redemption sooner or later if I want those episodes to start being out and that series to be done uploading by the time the second one comes out. Um, yeah. I'm gonna keep letting this play, but that was Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. A big shout out to our friends at Ubisoft Canada who gave us a copy a couple weeks before it came out and we did a fun little stream and then we decided to LP it so here we are but yeah big shout out to them and I think that they were partnered with Xbox Canada um, to get people copies early and for review and for content and so really grateful to have them given us stuff to make content with I mean I'm really glad I experienced the story of this game I just could have done without almost everything else which is a real shame because some of the Assassin's Creed gameplay tropes are some of my favorite in gaming. I never really felt like those were explored or fleshed out here. Maybe it was just the playstyle I had while going through it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put myself on mute and we'll let the credits finish and 
thank you all for that watch live and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to watch all of our LPs and I'll announce what's coming next on our social media channels and you can find our links to all those um, at the bottom of this video I'll catch you guys next time bye
Is there anything else? Hello? That's all she wrote. 